Rachel, Art with Heart. Miss Rachel is our host. Hi, hello, and welcome back. I'm so happy to see you again. Today, we are going to be learning about the ocean. My buddy Ray is gonna play a couple games with you guys, and she's gonna teach you guys some really fun facts about the ocean. We are also gonna make a really cool art project. Let's get started, come on. All right, you guys, let's play our first game. This game, you're gonna have to guess what's next in the pattern. I know you guys are gonna do a great job at this. Come on, let's get started with our first one. Okay, first pattern, we have a floaty, a beach ball, a floaty, a beach ball, what comes next? Yeah, that's right, a floaty. Great job, you guys. Okay, next up, we have a flamingo floaty, a boat, a flamingo floaty, a boat. What comes next? Yeah, the flamingo floaty. Great job, you guys. Okay, next. We have a popsicle, a sandcastle, a popsicle, a popsicle, a sandcastle. What comes next? That's right, a popsicle. Awesome job. Okay, next, a watermelon, a pineapple, a pineapple, a watermelon, a pineapple. What? comes next. Yes, a pineapple, you got it. Okay, our last one. A jellyfish, a starfish, a jellyfish, a starfish, a jellyfish. What comes next? That's right, a starfish. Great job, you guys. Wow, you guys did awesome at that. Great job. You should feel so proud of yourself. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do next. Come on. Okay, so today we're gonna make an under the ocean box. For this project, we have lots of materials. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over all of our different materials, but they're also posted in the description below. Okay, we first are gonna need a box. I have this box right here that you can see I cut a rectangle into. So you're gonna have to cut a rectangle into your box as well. This is just a box, that, like a shipping box. Um, it's pretty big. Yours doesn't necessarily have to be this big. It can be this big if you want to. The size doesn't matter. It's just as long as it's a box that you're gonna cut a rectangle into it or a square into it, okay? So I have this box. You can see that I painted white because it had some UPS writing on there and I wanted it to be nice and clean for when we start painting. Okay, the reason I have a rectangle cut into my box is because I'm going to be using this transparency paper right here, and we are going to decorate it, and eventually we're gonna add it into our box. So it'll be kind of like a 3D kind of thing. So we're gonna have this outside, we're gonna add something to it. We're gonna add it onto our box. And then in the background, the background, we are going to use watercolor paper. Watercolor paper over here. If you don't have watercolor paper and you just have regular paper, that's okay. Don't worry, that'll work as well. We're eventually gonna have to cut the shape because you can see my watercolor paper is a little bit bigger than the background of my box. So this is gonna be the background of our ocean. That'll be the background of our ocean. I also have another piece of paper. I'm gonna create some sea creatures on this paper. They're gonna go on top of the background of my ocean. So it'll be background of my ocean, sea creatures, and then I'm gonna have that layer, this layer, gonna be another one that'll kind of be the front layer of my ocean. So that's kind of my ocean box right there. 
Now, to decorate my ocean box, I'm gonna be using acrylic paint. I'm using some acrylic paint. I'm gonna use uh, just a paper plate. I'm gonna put all my paints on there. Of course, we need paint brushes for all of our different paints. So I have a mixture of kind of different colors that I'm gonna be using. You can choose whatever colors you want to paint your ocean box. Um, for the background of my box, for the background and my sea creatures, I'm gonna be using some oil pastels, my markers, watercolor palette, and of course, paint brushes in a jar for the water. Again, if you don't have exactly all of these materials and you have crayons or color pencils um, or regular kind of Crayola markers that you're gonna be using, that's okay too. As long as we're adding some color and some fun, you don't have to have exactly the same materials. Um, you'll still be able to follow along with any of those other art materials. All right, for a transparency paper, this one, we're gonna be using chalk markers on top of that. So we're gonna be using some chalk markers on top of here to let it dry a little. All right, last thing. We're gonna add a special little hanging topper to the top of our box. So I have my pipe cleaner over here. We're gonna need to put a hole in our boxes. So I have this little tool right here. Um, for this part, make sure you get adult help because I don't want anyone getting hurt. So adult help for that. Just gonna use a tool that you have to kind of punch a little hole right in, I'll show you. It'll kind of just go at the top, right at the top of the box because we are going to put a pipe cleaner through and we're of course gonna bead it. So make sure you grab some beads and yeah, I think that's everything. Hi you guys. Man, it's so great seeing you guys again. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the ocean. 71% of the Earth's surface is covered by the ocean. Scientists estimate that about 1 million species of animals live in the ocean. However, about 95% are invertebrates, which are animals without backbones, such as jellyfish and shrimp. The ocean is home to the world's largest living structure, the Great Barrier Reef, off the coast of Australia. Some animals that live in the ocean are sharks, octopus, seahorses, turtles, starfish, crabs, dolphins, jellyfish, fish, and many, many, many more. Come on, you guys, let's keep learning about the ocean. Ray, thank you so much for those really fun facts about the ocean. Now that we know a little bit more about the ocean, we'll be able to put some of those sea creatures we learned about into our ocean box. Come on. Okay, so I have my box here. It's kind of hard to see because my box is pretty big and my paint over here with my paint brushes. And I'm gonna start painting uh, my box. I'm only gonna paint the parts that are white and I'm not gonna care so much about the bottom. We don't need to paint that. Um, something really important to remember when we're painting, you wanna paint carefully next to each color. That way you're not mixing all your colors together, okay? I chose these colors over here. You can choose these colors as well. Or if you wanna do all blue or all pink or all purple or all green, it's totally up to you. You get to paint this box however you want to. Now let me show you what I mean when I was talking about painting carefully next to each other. So if I have my purple over here, I'm gonna get my uh, paintbrush, wipe, wipe, wipe. And I'm gonna carefully kind of paint right here. Maybe I'm gonna do some stripes over here. Now, when I'm gonna paint a color next to it, say I wanna paint 
maybe blue next to my purple over here. I don't wanna take my blue and paint all and mix it all up because then I'm gonna mix up all my colors. I wanna carefully paint next to, next to that color. That way my blue is really bright, my purple is really bright, and you can see those colors. Because if we mix all those colors together, it's not gonna be blue and purple anymore. And then I'll do the same thing with green. Kind of paint that there. Again, carefully, be really careful to paint my colors next to each other. Just like that. And you get to paint your box however you want to. Maybe you wanna do stripes like how I'm doing. Maybe you wanna paint all one color um, on one side, switch it over, paint the other side. It's totally up to you. Or maybe you wanna paint um, an underwater painting. Maybe you wanna do some seaweed in the ocean. Maybe you wanna add a mermaid or a fish. You can totally do that, totally up to you, however you wanna paint your box, okay? So I'm gonna get started painting my box, and then when I'm all finished with it, I'm gonna set it to the side so it can dry, okay? Here's my box, it's all painted all around. Um, I made sure when I was using all my paint brushes, my blue went back in the blue home, my purple and the purple, green and green, that way we don't mix any of those colors. Now I'm gonna set my box somewhere to dry. Um, I'm probably gonna set mine outside because it dries a little bit faster. All right, so next up, we're gonna move to our transparency paper. Ooh little static -y. um and we are going to decorate on top but not the whole thing because we want to be able to see through it is the idea um so I'm gonna use my chalk markers you can use chalk markers um they're like paint sticks so if you have paint sticks that should work as well um but because they're like paint you want to once you're done using it you need to leave it so it dries okay okay so I'm gonna take my green and I'm gonna kind of draw maybe some seaweed down at the bottom here. Just kind of some seaweed going up like this. And maybe a little over here as well. And again, I'm kind of thinking about really where I wanna place things. Cause once I have them down, I need to leave them. And I don't wanna to touch them or smudge them. Um, so I'm really being careful with my other hand not to smudge anything. And I'm really being careful just to kind of draw a little bit of seaweed over here and over here and maybe i'll draw some coral and draw some kind of purple coral over here fill it in a little like that Maybe some kind of pink coral going up. Like that for here. And maybe I'll draw a hmm, like a yellow kind of coral yellow one over here and then i think i'm just gonna draw maybe some fish swimming by so a little fish swimming by over here and some friends with it a school of fish Some more fish. Kind 
kind of like that. So there's some fish swimming by. Maybe I'll draw like a little bubble in the water, some bubbles. For there. And then there's kind of my top layer. I'm just gonna leave this. I don't wanna add too much because I wanna be able to see through it. Okay, so I'm gonna set this to the side to dry. And then I'm gonna start working on my different kind of sea creatures that are gonna go into my background. Um, I'm gonna cut this in half. That way I make two sea creatures. I'm gonna cut this in half. And I'm gonna grab my oil pastels and my watercolor palette and my paintbrushes. All right, so you get to kind of draw whatever you want um, for your sea creatures. I'm gonna go ahead and draw an octopus. I'm gonna Start with the head over here. It's gonna be a friendly octopus. I'm gonna have the legs coming down. And remember there's one, two, three, four, five. Woo, am I gonna be able to squeeze them all in? Six, ah, seven, and then we'll add a eight right there. Whew, it's hard to squeeze in all those legs in for my octopus. I'm gonna give my octopus a smile because my octopus is a friendly octopus. Right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and paint my octopus. I'm gonna cut out my octopus, so it's not really gonna matter, um, you know, the background, because it's gonna eventually, my little octopus friend is gonna be cut out. So I'm just kind of painting the inside, all of those legs, all of those eight legs. There we go. And then I'm gonna set my octopus friend to the side to dry as well. I'm gonna grab another, my other one. For this one, hmm, what kind of sea creature friend do I want? Maybe I'll do a seahorse. I'm gonna do a seahorse. I'm gonna do an orange seahorse. So I'm gonna do the front around and then seahorses kind of have that little tail like that and then a little kind of fin there again this is a friendly seahorse so I'm gonna give it a smile right there doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. There we go. And now I'm gonna paint my seahorse. I'm gonna paint my seahorse inside kind of an orangey yellow kind of color. Orangey yellow. Again, remembering that I'm gonna end up kind of cutting out my seahorse, so it's not gonna matter what color or the background of my seahorse. Cause I'm gonna end up cutting out my friend over here. All right, so there's my seahorse. I'm gonna set my seahorse to the side to dry as well. And then I'm gonna go grab my box from outside. All right, so here's my box. I need my box to measure my paper, right? 
because my paper is way bigger than my box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it underneath and I want it to be a little bit smaller than the width of my box here because um, it's gonna go in the background. So I'm gonna place it underneath here, line it up to match up with the back over here. And then I'm gonna carefully draw a line going down here. That's gonna be where I am going to make my cut. So carefully draw a line. I'm gonna move my box to the side again. You don't need that. And then I'm gonna take my scissors. I'm going to cut on the inside of this line over here. Now remember with cutting, my thumb goes right here, my fingers go here, open and close. I'm gonna hold my paper with my other hand. I'm gonna carefully cut away from me in one direction, right? Cutting away from me. So now that I have my background, I'm gonna start decorating the background of my um, ocean box. So I'm gonna grab my watercolors back, grab my oil pastels back, and I have some markers over here as well. So since this is just the background, I'm going to maybe add in some waves back here. Some waves over here too. And then maybe color it with some blue oil pastels. So when I use my watercolors, it really pops. Maybe I'll add some more waves up here. Some more over here. And then Maybe I'll add some seaweed in this as well. Why not? You know, some seaweed down here, over here. It's gonna be the background of where my octopus and my um, seahorse live. If you made a fish or a dolphin or a whale or a shark, this is gonna be the background of wherever your sea creature lives. Um, so that's kind of done there. Maybe I'll add some, you know, like this to the background over here. Maybe a bubble. Cause who doesn't like bubbles? Some bubbles. And now I'm gonna start painting the background. So since this is the ocean, I'm gonna paint it that dark blue, kind of a bluish kind of color, right? I'm gonna paint the whole thing. And when I paint over those oil pastels, my watercolor jumps right off of them run off of them says hey get off of me there we go paint 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 so i'm going to keep painting the whole thing paint up my whole background um you can choose to do blue for your background as well if you are like my ocean box is a rainbow ocean box and i want to do rainbow colors have that it you are the artist okay all right so here's the background of my ocean. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do some blot, blot, blot. Blot, blot, blot. Just with a paper towel. Picking up those puddles. There we go. All right. So now that we are all finished, I'm gonna start piecing all of these together. And I forgot to mention earlier, but if you have glue or tape or washi tape, we're gonna be using that to go ahead and piece all of these together. But before we get started with that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my sea creatures. Remembering to hold my scissors safely. I'm gonna cut away from me using one of my hands to hold the paper and help me turn it and my other hand to open and close the scissors cutting away from me safely. Now you might notice I'm not cutting right on the lines of my sea creature. I'm just kind of cutting around. 
So just kind of cutting around like that. So there's my octopus and my seahorse, same thing. Not gonna cut right on the line, whoop. Not gonna cut right on the line. I'm gonna carefully cut around and away from me. There we go. Right, there we go. So here are both my sea creatures. I'm gonna put them inside my background. I wanna make sure since this is gonna go into my box, I don't wanna have anything hanging over. So everything has to fit inside of my paper over here, okay? So I'm gonna grab, I have this tape over here. I'm just gonna grab this. You're gonna use, do the same thing that we do with washi tape. You're gonna kinda just like cut. Then I have a little piece, not too much. I'm gonna do a loop. So you have a loop there Put on the back and tape it in and do the same thing here. Cut. Loop, like a circle. There we go. And then it kind of gives this 3D kind of effect right here, huh? Maybe I'm gonna turn this actually a little bit so you can see that wave. Hmm. Maybe we won't see the wave, that's okay. All right, so now that that is done, I'm gonna get my box. I'm gonna move this to the side. I'm gonna clear my space a little bit. All right, so now I am finished with my background over here. I grabbed my box because we're gonna go ahead and put the background into the box. Again, you're gonna need glue or tape to go ahead and put this background in. I'm gonna grab my tape over here. Cut it with my finger, it's okay. Make those loops. A loop, put that in. A loop, put that in. I wanna make sure there's enough loops, enough tape in. Going all the way across, and I'll probably add at the bottom here. At the bottom here, making sure that really sticks. Now, my box opens. So my box opens like this. Your box might open, it might not open. If it does open, you can just open it and stick it to the background. If it doesn't, you're gonna carefully kind of almost pinch your picture in and carefully kind of fold it in like this. Making sure you're careful with your picture and then just carefully press it down onto the tape, just like that. So then you have your background doo -doo -doo of your ocean. Great. So now that we have it like this with our background in there, we're going to get that tool I was telling you about to poke holes through here, okay? Now again, get a parent's help for this. Um, use a, maybe like, I don't know, use a knife or I have this little tool right here probably um, anything that's kind of pointy and sharp and you're just gonna push it through like that you want to make two because you're gonna have to hang it right like that grab your pie cleaner pull it through not all the way you're gonna get your beads and you're gonna create a stopper. A stopper bead is just something that's gonna go ahead and make sure that that is stopped so it doesn't go out of the hole right there, right? Because right now, if you didn't have a stopper bead, you could pull it all the way out. So we're gonna push this in, grab a bead. Not all the way, we just want a little bit. 
right here, a little bit extra over here. We're gonna flip it up and twist, 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 twist. Just like that. That way we have a little bit of a stopper. So it won't fall, go all the way through. And then we're gonna bead, 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 bead all the way until about right here because you wanna make sure you have enough room that you can put it back through and make the stopper as well, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start beading. You go ahead and start beading yours as well. Okay, so we have our little cute handle over here. Um, I've attached it the same way at the bottom right here with my stopper bead. That way I have two stopper beads so my handle doesn't go anywhere. Okay, now we are going to add our transparency paper. If your box opens the same way mine does, you can just go ahead and open it and go ahead and tape the transparency paper on the inside. If not, you can choose to tape it on the outside here. I suggest getting some clear tape. That way um, you don't end up seeing it or you can use a glue stick. If you don't want to do either of those, I'm going to show you another option that you can do. So we're going to grab our tape, grab a piece of tape, carefully put the tape at the top, just enough that you have some hanging over because you still want some sticky part hanging over. Now keep in mind how you want your transparency paper to look. If you want it this way, if you want it to look like this or like this, um, however you want it to be because when you're gonna tape it in, that's where it's gonna stick, okay? So I'm gonna tape this one here. Tape, tape, tape. Like this. Making sure all that gets stuck right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do kind of the same thing. I'm gonna do a loop here. Stick it on the inside. That way my paper, my transparency paper will stick to it. Make sure it's close enough to the edge so that your transparency paper can stick onto it. Okay. Same thing over here. Make sure, woo, close enough to the edge so that your transparency paper can stick onto it. I'm gonna push this back just a little because I can see that blue tape. Right there. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm gonna carefully push this in. Carefully push this in. I need to make sure that one. tape at the bottom, pushing my hand so that transparency paper can stick to that. And then you kind of have your, do do do, your box with your transparency paper onto it. Hi again. So I just popped in here to let you guys know that Miss Rachel and myself actually live right by the ocean. I thought it would be fun to go outside and check out the ocean. Come on! This is the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean in the world. Wow, look at how beautiful it is. Let's take a second to listen to the ocean. For joining me today. I had so much fun learning about the ocean, playing some fun games with you guys, and making these really cool ocean boxes. Can I see how yours turned out? Whoa! 
That's so awesome. You did a great job. You should feel so proud of yourself. All right, you guys. Thanks so much. Come back again. I can't wait to see you guys next time. If you like this video, make sure to check out other videos and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Bye.